All right, guys, welcome back. Going into the fourth and final hour here of Roleplay Solemn Week number 35. Neil, what's going on? All right, the party is hauled off to the uh, the jail. And in the process of hauling them off, your gear is stripped from you. Um, you're stripped basically just down to your clothes, everything. Um, except for whatever clothing you're wearing. So uh, armor so, is taken off, backpacks are removed, pouches are removed from your belts. Could I argue that thieves would keep their lockpick stuff in, like, places that are hidden? Like, I would feel that they might think I'm a wizard because I have all the wizard shit, but thief probably not, and that my thief gear is probably not, like, just I mean, loose. I mean, how much th can he cram up his butt, Neil? Is I guess the... <laughs> no, but I think thief gear is just like <laughs> a... <laughs> probably just like a lockpick in some very small things that... Thieves. Well, considering they take all your gear off of you, take your belt off of you, so you're literally only wearing shirts and pants, mm -hmm. can't and, like, be pat you down, <laughs> unless yeah, you have some, like, place fun. to put it. Do they remove it. Our, our boots? I mean, they, I mean, they search your boots, too. Like, they, they, they're, they're your prisoners. They, they search you very well. They don't, they don't cavity search you, but they search everything on you. Um, so if it's not shirt, pants, undergarments, or boots... You don't have it. They even take your belts. Because your belts have like all your sword gear and shit on it. Um, and you guys are tossed. Ryan, you're muted. Oh, sorry. I was asking, can I hide my longbow up my butt? Is that... <laughs> no. No? Okay. Damn. You'd need more time I and... I had a plan. And uh, the KY spell. Uh, yeah. Um, you guys are tossed in a surprisingly undercrowded prison. You would really expect at this point, at this place, everything to be crowded up, but it's not. The three of you are placed in adjoining cells. Uh, I guess while this is going on, Neil, do, am I, do I walk into the city fine? And okay, we should to totally figure out what's happening with you. Yeah, so you're walking behind these people who are doing this. Um, the, guy, the big guy who everyone is addressing, and you get the strong impression that that's Lord Kelborn, because they all call him my lord or general. Right. Um, he goes off back to his command post, which is surprisingly near the, the gate. Do I see any, uh, like, uh, robed people with him? Not with him, but you do see them walking about. Gotcha. Okay. I follow the party uh, instead of him. Okay. The knights take off their helmets, put down their lances and whatnot. Stable boys come take the horses and gear away. And the, the two unconscious people are hefted over shoulders and dragged down to the, excuse me, the dungeon, the dungeons. Wojtek is walked down there. And I assume you follow? Maybe? Yeah, yeah I do. Okay. So you follow them, you go through the whole, you stand by while they take all the gear off of them and just toss it in a room nearby, near the, near the dungeon. Just kind of unceremoniously just to throw it in there. And then you follow as they get put in cells. Wojtek is the closest to the door, followed by Marius, who's in the cell adjacent to him, followed by Mr. Varnoosh, who's in the cell adjacent to them. On the opposite the side, yeah. yes, uh, those cells are empty except for these three. Opposite the path has three more cells that each have one occupant, and further down, uh, there's a bunch of... There's a, you take a short walk, and there's a bunch of empty cells, and then near the back, there are some overcrowded cells filled with what look to be commoners. Just normal everyday people who are have been locked in here for God knows how long. The whole place is lit magically. Okay. All right. And then what? The guards walk out. Yep. The guards walk out after making some unpleasant comments about Voitech's mother. <laughs> Do they lock the the like? What is the mechanism for these things? Oh, they're just, just key? standard key locking mechanisms. Um. Marius, I want you to give me a willpower check to make sure that you can't don't reveal that you're actually conscious the whole time. So they're still taking my either. Yeah, like in the process my, while they're stripping your gear off of you and everything. Give me a willpower <laughs> check to try and like hide the fact that you are. Okay. I got a one eighteen. <laughs> With a two. Oh, Thirty. Not a problem. You no one suspects that you are actually conscious this whole time. Awesome. Okay. He has a fear boner that's prairie dogging over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, they think it's just a bad dream. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. 
The is, worst is the fear boner dreams. Is Voitex still alive? And able? Oh, yeah. Okay. For now. Okay. Uh, well, once they go upstairs and they close the thing, I guess I walk over to the uh, uh, jail cell in front of Voitech. And uh, I forgot what the fucking code word is, but I'm just like, hey, hey, it's me. What, uh, what's the plan? <laughs> it's good to hear your voice, buddy, but I have fuck all ideas for it. I don't know. I don't think we can escape even if I go get the key. Yeah, I think we're pretty fucked unless there's a way to disguise ourselves or something. I saw a bunch of rogue people outside, so I'm pretty sure you guys are fucked and you're going to have to tell the truth because they're going to make you. And I can't, I can't go just try to take out the general because he's probably going to have some sort of detection. Yep. It's all right, buddy. If this is the end of the road, it's been good. But uh, stick stick close in case you can help us. Okay, I'm, I'll I'll be in the area. Just uh, <laughs> just make some noise. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> good. Kind of just like walk off. <laughs> I go, I'm going and like inspecting the other cages to see who's in inside of them, etc. You're muted. A bunch of riffraff at the back. And the three cells with single people in them. Uh, two humans and an elf, actually. Uh, Do near they the look front. like fighters? They, they look like prisoners of war. Yeah, they look like troops of some kind. They're well-muscled. They're not underfed. Their eyes, while kind of tired from being in prison, are still alert and paying close attention to things. Gotcha. And as you know, they wait a few minutes after the the doors shut, and then start like creeping toward forward and peering at the party, but not saying anything. Okay, I just kind of, I just kind of wait around, and I I guess I, I just wait to see what happens. I'm How like, long do you wait? I go an hour. Okay, uh, forty five minutes later, so before your hour is up. A group of dark-robed clerics start coming down. You notice that they have uh, long black uh, necklaces with the medallion of Verasi hanging off of them. And they walk with their hands together. Their hands are bound by a white cloth. Their hoods are up and covering their face, and it's dark in here. I guess, no, it's magically lit in here. You see they have uh, lizard-like features for their face. They kind of have a slight protruding snout with nose close to it and you know, scaly skin. Mm-hmm. The, the scales are uh, coppery colored almost, that kind of weird, you know, copper color, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, and they walk in and open, using, producing a key opens the, the gate to Mr. Varnoosh's door and to Marius's door. Um, Marius I, I continued to play dead after sounds were made, I guess. And... They, they kneel over each of them, put a hand to them, and a soft blue light surrounds them. Uh, bu- 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 how what many, is your name? How Jasper, many... you're at one. What? And Marius, you gain one HP. You mean Varnoosh? Yeah, yeah, Varnoosh. sorry. Varnoosh, you're at one. And Marius, you gain one HP. Okay. How many people are down <laughs> two here? HP, you said two HP, It is a two collection two? of four clerics. Okay, four clerics. Okay. Pretty uh, shitty heel spell. Well, I mean, like, that's are they... <laughs> So I'm in that weird state where I'm like half conscious and all that jazz for the day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can kind of speak, but you'll drift in and out of consciousness. And if you do anything more than talk or look around and roll your head, or maybe flail your arms a little bit. All right. Are they armored? They are not armored whatsoever. And there's four down here? There's four down here. At the moment, two of them are in jail cells while the other two stand uh, whisp- chanting slowly to themselves in the hallway. Hallway meaning they can't see where the other two are? I mean, the, the jail cells are bars. They can see, but the hallway between the jails. Oh, so two of them are in an actual jail cell. Yeah, they're the, the ones other two are outside of the jail cell. Yeah, yeah. They're they're healing Monsieur Varnoosh and Marius. Uh, is is Wojtek in a cell that can see the... Also, what is the ground made of? Is it dust? Dirt? dirt? Uh, no, it is stone. Yeah. If I could, I from what I can tell, does it look like I could whisper something to Voitech without being heard, or is it just like the only noise in the cell is just like water dripping or something? Yeah, it's just the soft chanting of them and that thing. And also, Voitech would have to be like literally pressed against the 
the uh, the jail door for you to whisper to him because you know he's behind bars. Right. Okay. I guess I just let it happen. Okay. Uh, this is the rough depiction of the jail cells. The oh. stairs on the left going up. Here's the the jail cells, just cell after cell after cell. They're each roughly five by ten, and we have Voy, Marius, and Varn. Envy for Mr. Varnoosh. Why, why you got to take Marius's and Voitex letter, huh? Okay. Um, after that, they step back out and shut the door, lock the key, uh, lock them as well, and. So they just go and heal them and then leave. And step out. Well, no, no, no. They're about. There's. They step back out after closing the doors. And I'm trying to look up this spell. Gotcha. Just please interrupt me if you have an action at any point in time. Yeah, no, I'm just kind of like... That, that's why I started asking those questions, because I thought I might make one, yeah. but I'm not. Uh, one of them, one, one of the ones that did not step in the cells, speaks a few words, puts his hands up in front of him, and a soft green light starts to flicker out of it, like little points of light flicker from his hands, and settle on... Uh, the party member, the three in the cells who are now semi-conscious or fully conscious. Uh, I need you guys to give me saving throws versus spell. I'm in there? Three of you. Yes, you. Nine. I fail. Could I play half... Pass. Could I play the half-conscious card since I'm at, like, being back from the dead and shit? Marius, can I'm you not save? for the... Not I have to roll for this. For my yeah, stuff. you're awake. Oh. Give me a saving throw. I fail. So they made me stay awake. They made me get up. I mean, they they healed you for one HP. You're still awake, even if you're pretending to be asleep. Okay. But this, you are, um, yeah. yeah. So you guys fail, and Voitech passes. The one who casts the spell. Uh, leans forward and hisses loudly, staring at Voitech first and says who are you I uh I look at him and say my name's Wojtek Redhorn where are you from uh I don't know how to say this I'm sure it's like an egg for you but it's my mother's vagina <laughs> Silence, you fool. <laughs> Who is your leader? I go, Do you want me to not be silent anymore? You play with your life. Answer these questions and you may yet live. Jerk us around and we will see you burned. I will not jerk you off. All right. My leader? It's the Longborns. And what is your purpose in coming here? They wanted me to make contact with Lord Kelborn to talk to him about the baby. Are all the cell cages locked? Yes. Okay. Why did you not come under the banner of a white flag? Because when the war broke out, we were pretty certain that that would just get me killed anyways. What is the offer you wish to propose? Ah, no. Well... They talked to us about a peace and having the child transferred over to your control. They're, of course, doubtful that you guys have good intentions. So I was sent to have a conversation with them to see if there could be more explanation. You speak in riddles. Why would the King Longborn offer up the unborn, the prophesied child to us? There's a pretty good chance that it's not real and I've been sacrificed by my own side. But there's a brown-robed man who approached us from your side and said that there's a, if they give the child over to you, the war will stop. Who was this man? What was his name? I have no fucking clue. He's in a brown robe. That's all I know. He can teleport at will. He controls these really stupid, if you think about it, creatures that make no sense. And whoever made them up are really not showing a lot of creativity, but they're these monsters. I'm just kidding, Neil. Uh, he controls okay, those. It only hurts inside. <laughs> I don't know who it is. 
they whisper to each other in this weird lizard-like language for a few minutes, and then the man, re- the lizard, reapproaches towards Ryuzilla, towards uh, Marius, mm-hmm. and says, "Does he speak the truth?" Do I appear to still be knocked out? Yeah, you're. I mean, unless you've done other th- anything else, you're still just lying on the ground. Okay, I I continue to do that then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yeah. This one has not like, woken yet. Like ten talk seconds to the, pass talk and to Ryan the gnome. looks through his eye once again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, hey. friends. I too am a cleric. What is the spell you cast on him? Hmm. I too am a cleric. What is the spell you cast on him? Ooh. Uh, do you have spellcraft proficiency? You do. Give me a uh, d20 plus 11. I will PM it to you. Fantastic. Uh, He then turns towards Jen's character. Can we roll for my state of consciousness or not? You're you're awake at this point. Really? How? Why is this that? At this moment, it actually works. I feel because like the, the time- one HP came and you came to consciousness as soon as you got the one HP, and this is like twenty seconds later, you know, a minute and a half later. But you didn't message me anything about the spell being cast on me, so I just do whatever. Yeah, I didn't message you anything. Yeah, uh, he turns to you and says, uh, "Does he speak the truth?" I believe he does. I met them late on their quest. Mm. These creatures. I only joined up later. I got attacked by thieves. They were very mighty. I uh, I say in in my horrible acting voice. You know, you know, I'm telling the truth. I have to. You know that deep down <laughs> in your heart and your lizard gut. <laughs> Neil, how much space is from their cages all the way over here? How much? Feet, I that? didn't see where you pinged. Right here. Uh, that's 40 feet from Voitex, the center Voitex cage to the is center this, of that. Is this a wall? Uh, it goes a little bit further. It more or less extends to here. I'm finishing drawing now. Just continue assuming cages. Okay. If I, uh, Is there any stones on the ground? Small uh, pebbles? Yeah. There are some small, small pebbles. If I throw a pebble, is that an action? That will pop me up from stealth. Yes, if you make an attack, like a gentle toss of a pebble is not one, but if you throw it and trying to hit something, the it's... goal would be to distract these things so that they would go investigate that area. Would that pop me out of stealth? I mean, all you got to do is make some noise then. So that, if you're just tossing a pebble down the thing, that's that would not negate stealth. Yeah. Okay. I just toss a pebble. Let's see how it reacts. Okay. Uh, they seemingly ignore it. Uh, if I like took a, a weapon of some sort and just like, uh, like ran it down the gel cells at the other end of the hole, would I come out of invis? If you, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? That was your problem. If I used a, a weapon, brandished weapon, and just ran it down the gel cells to make a lot of noise at the other end of the hole, would that pop me out of stealth? You're not sure. Or, You'd have to try it. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't be sure. Um, never mind. I just sit here and wait. Just let the conversation okay. go. The the lizard men converse amongst themselves in their strange tongue for a few more minutes and then depart uh, back up the stairs. Once they uh, they shut and close the door, I I go over to Voitex Cage and ask, uh, what, "What what was that they they cast on you?" Uh, it was the zone of truth, friend. The zone of fucking truth. Okay. So I guess they'll probably kill the three of you now, don't you think? Eh, probably. But maybe not. There's Hello, a chance. Ben. Maybe you uh, should try to get our items and use them. I also try to whisper best I can while keeping my eyes shut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> Marius, the old sack of shit. I'm so glad that you're still alive. I gave you a wink before I went down. Oh, I fucking unknew that. Yeah, of the, course. The elf on the other side says, you guys are, are longborn soldiers, right? You. They did the same thing on us. They, they made us tell them the truth of what, why, who we were and where we came from. 
They didn't That's kill you? really shitty. No. He's just We've responding been... to a, a random voice. Yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah, apparently. Okay. I guess it's dark, yeah. Okay. What does he say? Uh, yeah. Uh, whatever I said, I don't remember. I forgot the question. He said yes. How long have you been here, friend? Four days. Have they made any uh, inclinations of trying to kill you? Have you been tortured? Just questioned? Ten of us were here originally. It's just three of us now. They took all the others somewhere else? They took them out and they haven't brought them back. I don't know. I assume they're dead. Okay, I just don't say anything after that. What? Do you have a plan of escape? We've been trying to put one together, but none of us are strong enough to bend these bars. But if I could get some lock picks, it would be great. What happens when we get all of the bars, friend? <laughs> <laughs> make a break for our weapons. Make a last stand. You can't die honorably you fighting ours? the enemy. You can't kill a thousand soldiers. Die honorably fighting the enemy. It's better than being locked up in here and waiting to be executed. I whispered to the guy, um, how long have you been here? He said three five days. days. Go back to sleep. Oh. <laughs> Barnoosh, can, can you get us out of here? Do you have any powers? If I had the luck pick or my spell book, I could do some things. No, no. You gotta stop talking about your fucking lock pick. Look. Have you noticed our friend is standing outside of the... <laughs> you hear his voice, right? Yes. Oh, Neil, do I still have my spells? No, because I've been knocked unconscious. Yeah. The only thing I can do is luck picks. Or have my spell book bring back to me. He looks at you and gives you a look of like, God damn it. Well, can you do anything? <laughs> ah, it hurts when I laugh. <laughs> well, you'll notice. Never mind. <laughs> uh, is there an actual door swivel or anything like that, Neil, for the door leading down here? Or is it just an open portal? Portal being a passageway. Uh, it's a door. So a I would have door. to actually open the door so someone's... Yeah, but it doesn't seem to be locked or anything. Uh, you haven't seen anyone use keys on it. They just kind of open it and try to... I think I could probably break these bars if I had a chance. Guys, again. <laughs> Jasper is standing outside of the fucking... Oh Getting out of the actual <laughs> cells is not the problem. Do you have uh, do you have spells? You're a cleric. I do have spells, yes. Can you do anything with those spells to save us? There's a chance if I can, yeah. If I can get near some food. <laughs> Neil, I uh some people Am I able to search through my bag while invisible and see stuff in my bag while invisible? You can feel it. You cannot see it. If I threw something out of my bag that's invisible, would it become visible? If you take your backpack off of you it, to the point where it's no longer touching you, even for a partial second, it becomes visible. Can I dig through my bag to find Leia's stuff and pull out these three scrolls? Sure. I do that and I throw them into Varnusha's cage. Okay. Uh, what are the three scrolls? Uh, I'll send... Well, one's a globe of invulnerability, one's a wall of force, one's an anti-magic shell. I don't know if they would help at all, but you can read them and tell me if those spells are any good. All right, so here's the deal. You are at one. You are in and out of consciousness, Monsieur Varnouche. Yeah. If you want to cast one of these spells off of a scroll, I will let you do it. But afterwards, you need to make a willpower check um dc 25 so you need to roll a 25 or higher on a willpower check otherwise okay. you fall unconscious for a long period of time okay 122 well. i think that's good yep got it what <laughs> no. no one gets it only me and Jim. Uh, <laughs> now i get it now i get it ha 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 um but yeah the, it's not invisibility it's what are they again Anti-magic, invulnerability, or something. Globe shit. of invulnerability, wall of force, and anti-magic shell. I don't know what they do. A globe of... <laughs> yeah, that sounds... Do you know the word yeah, invulnerability? No, 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 I know, but it's like 
spells, like, sometimes they sound like they're going to do the thing you expect them to do, but then they don't. Yeah, but you're no, going to... Could we... Uh, Neil, would he... Which, I guess, actually, would he be able to know what they do as a character? Not as uh, a player? They are wizard spells, but guessing... You can... Any inferences you can make based on the titles are what you can do. You don't have any out of extra knowledge. So for just these being uh, on scroll, it doesn't like have what the spell does? No, it's written in the words of it's like magically written. So if she if she didn't know what the spell was, she would just look at this and start chanting the words and then whatever happened happened. Mm. That you've told her that's all that's the only thing that she knows. So she can try and read the spell yeah. but she doesn't really, this... you know. So I don't believe these will get us out of here, but we should probably hold on to them as a last resort. Perhaps we wait until nightfall and attempt to make our escape then. That's our best chance, friend. You are right? They That's say they've been here for four days, so there's a good chance they aren't going to do anything until then. I have an idea, but it might be crazy. What if we all do the ring thingy one after the other to become invisible and then leave? Does it fucking work like that? I don't know. What do I know about these kind of rings, Neil? Like, so do I know that if we use them four times in a day, it's more risky, or do I not know that? Well, I would say I don't... Apparently, Jasper's never used this in the campaign, although I know he has because we've done it before. But if I take the ring off, I become uninvisible. Correct. That's, yeah. Oh. So I just straight what up say that. What if we can all fit our fingers? <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't think it would work, friend. Damn it. Hmm. I can climb walls. <laughs> I can hide in shadows. Maybe we should just try to leave during the night. It's like literally. Yeah, it's what you said. What he just said. Yeah, I think that's the right option then. Yeah, if we can get some people in here, I can still do a couple of spells on them, perhaps. But there's a chance that there's a anti-spell power down here because the lights—it's all magic. Well, I guess that means it's not. Never mind. Fuck it. We yeah. can. All right. We'll wait till nightfall. Isn't it nighttime, Neil? Uh, it is well, we daytime. No you can wait till nighttime. It is magically lit in here, so you don't know what the time is down here. Um. Okay. Uh, the other question I have, Neil, and I I think this was used, but Jin's character sheet has a scroll of teleport times one and one potion of invisibility. That was used by Leia and the potion she gave to someone else, correct? Or is this leftover? Because you got to tell me that now, because otherwise we'll probably. I don't know. Uh, I take it, Jen, you erased items from your character sheet when you used them, right? So if you use a potion of invisibility, it shouldn't yeah. be there anymore. But the thing yeah. is, when she died, she just sent me her character sheet. So I don't know if this. I'm pretty sure it wasn't used, to be honest. Because okay. I had the ring, so I don't see why I would you have. You teleported used... the ring, right? Yeah. But I don't see why I would have used the potion ever. Oh, you teleported ring. with the ring. I had the magic. Uh, like no, I she, she used the myself. scroll to teleport. Uh, Victorian had the ring of teleportation. Yeah. So, basically, I had invisibility as a spell, and I had the ring for ring of invisibility, so I don't see why I would have ever as used a potion. Everyone in chat saying she had two scrolls, there's one left. That's very possible. Yeah. Whatever's no, on the character sheets possible. there. I mean, okay. I, I, I would assume it's only for one person. Or maybe if you guys hold hands. <laughs> no, there's a weight to it, remember? Teleportation has a weight limit. Well, we, yeah, I guess we wouldn't know that. But... That's why Victorian <laughs> couldn't leave. Oh, okay. Well, you guys don't have your shit. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah we're all like... I, I guess I, I I bring up the the thing to Varnoosh in in game, and I'm just like, do you know how teleportation works? Uh, I don't know if my character does. Neil, would she know in well, detail? Your background is you're a teleportation scientist. I thought that was pretty clear in the backstory. Uh, 
you're a wizard. You've been you've had your way around spellbooks before and talked to other wizards before. You understand more or less the functions of teleport. Okay. So with a teleportation scroll, I would know that we can't have the maximum weight thing, right? Do you know? You wouldn't much? know. You probably wouldn't know the exact specifics of how much weight you yeah. can carry, but you'd know that there is a weight limit. So there is a weight limit, but we don't have to teleport. Jasper, he could exit while being invisible. I, I would not teleport. Yeah. Could the three of you make it out? With this? I know I will not count if I cast it, so it's just up to you two. And you're down to your bare minimum. You don't have your plate mail and your gear, so we probably. What is the weight limit? I have no idea. But don't you also have a potion of invisibility? I do. Then that means only two of us need to get out. Can we split the potion? Probably not. And with how tiny fucking Varnoosh is, there's a really good chance him plus somebody else can get out. And then it's up to the invisible people to sneak out. I That's say, the best shot we got. I, I, okay. I, I kind of like look back at the door just to make sure I know what's going on. I'm just like, I say Marius and Varnu. Or sorry. Who, who is bigger in appearance, Wojtek or Marius? I'm Vo six foot 190. So I'm I, six, six two 185. Okay. Well, then I say like, Varnu should use the scroll and one of you should go with. Who's staying here with me? Uh, yeah, Marius is so sneaky. The fucking guy can barely whisper. I I would be alright to stay here and sneak out with you later. I'm so brave too, on top of it. I don't okay. know how we get you out of this cell, but we will figure a way out. I believe okay. I can bin these bars out. <laughs> <laughs> alright, where can That's we... That's a 13% chance to bend bars. Oh, oh I thought it was a 13 roll. <laughs> no, 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 that should be a 13% chance. It just says 13, I was like, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, we probably just forgot to add the Well, percent. I mean, we've got all day, right? I could try several times. Uh, bend bars is a once and done thing. Open doors is as many times as, you can try and bash the doors off the, bash the doors down, you can try that all day, but bending bars specifically says, like, if you can't bend the bars, the bars are just can't be bent. Marius, there's a, chance that if you don't go you might not make it out of this alive just so you know if i don't what do you mean if i don't go if you don't take the teleport oh uh, i i well are you I sure think... you want to stay i'll tell you what friend we'll fucking draw straws over it no 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 no, no. pick a number here hold on <laughs> first for, i believe we should do it like this i believe we don't have time to fucking okay. figure a plan well, out to figure out who stays. Just Pick a listen. number. Marius. Listen to me. No, stop. <laughs> listen. We need to see if any of us can open up our bars first, because that is the thing that matters. Yeah, God damn it, right? Neil, so roll? we all attempt to open our bars. Whoever gets D out. D100. Do you know my percentage? I'm 14 you strength. need to roll a 7 or lower on a D100. No. Eh. Uh, Monsieur Varnouche needs to roll a four or lower. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying. I'm like unconscious. There's no way. No. Boytek, you actually make the bars stronger somehow. What? You, you like, you fuse <laughs> them into plate. You rolled a 93. I'm joking. Come on. Oh, okay. Well, Neil, I believe anything right now. I'm going to attempt oh, okay. to break my bars. I got to be a 13 or younger or uh, lower. Yeah, yeah. younger. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah. sorry, that was looking at mind. someone else's character sheet. Hold on, what is your Marius? Oh yeah, thirteen for you too. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, here we go. Oh nope, Monsieur Varnouche, you want to try bending your bar? Actually, you can't. You're yeah, no, he's just, uh, I'm like half up, unconscious. There's no way. Yeah, he's half unconscious. You, you can't him even walk. Bit. Give it I your best even shot. Try. Just roll the dice. Just give it a shot. Just try. <laughs> I'm All right, I'll give you a one percent chance, but at the end of it, you collapse unconscious for twelve hours. I'm not doing it. You're like you. Have to spell cast. <laughs> it's the equivalent of someone like coming out of a surgery and like I, I can do it. I, I, I look at both Boris and Voitech, and I, I, obviously you guys don't see that. I'm just like, that was the dumbest thirty seconds of time we've ever wasted. Pick a number. I, I disagree, and and again, the number thing does not matter. If you notice, in the cells, we can maybe stick our hands through, but there's no chance for uh, Voitech to uh, touch. Uh, Varnoosh. I am the only one next to him. I just gasp. Oh. <laughs> and I'm just like, Voitech, it's me and you, buddy. This is this is simply circumstance. 
Yeah, it's totally fine. Could I just sneak? Considering I'm so small, can I? You're get unconscious. The well, no, oh, she's yeah. not unconscious. You're also in a jail cell. Like, what are you? You're gonna sneak yeah. out in the jail cell. Let's no, in this I'm jail like... cell. That's big enough for her to walk out of. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. I, I look at. I, oh, I, I just say, Marius, uh, Varnush, go. There's no way to climb by the go. way. Go. Okay. Stop wasting time. I okay, put so... I put my hand out. Okay. As, I as they I... do this and as they start doing all this, Neil, I start to walk back upstairs. Okay, so Varnush and uh, Marius grab hands, and Varnush is going to cast Teleport. And then I'm going to warn him that I might fall unconscious and he needs to take care of me. <laughs> okay, where are you trying to teleport them, Mr. Varnush? So, I need a place that's very familiar to me. So, yeah. technically, I would want to go... I think I would want to go to the Longbird... Mm, how far off are we from the Longbird Kingdom? Really? It doesn't far matter. Far? Teleport is global. Yeah. Also, let's just make sure that I, I do take the teleport scroll out of the bag and I do push it, put it inside of Varnush's cell. I don't know if that's okay. all right. So I'm gonna uh, do. Say... Please remove the scrolls from your character sheet, and Jen, please add all four scrolls to your character sheet. Hey, okay. give me that potion, by the way, friend. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I do that as well. Okay, and then transfer. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna say, are you guys all okay with us teleporting to the Longborn Kingdom? I feel like it's the safest place and that I know most. I turn around and just go. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Longboat Kingdom it is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jen. Give me a D100 to see if you land on target or if you are off target and everyone dies. Will the two of you die? What did you 59. roll? Oh, yeah, it's probably totally fine. Yeah, probably. I think in the middle is safe. It's always in the middle is nice and safe. That kill you. Yeah. Um, so let me double check because I don't... Guys, if I bend bars, I'm going to have to come off of invisibility. I'm not doing that, chat. Yes. Stop suggesting it. Probably. Trust me, I've played two years. I know what I'm doing most of the time. Yo, you don't know shit, man. <laughs> bend them bars. <laughs> I try it again. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Voitek just passes out and he's dead. Good job. Why can't you try to bend bars more than once, too? You're totally fine, Mr. Varnish. It's the sort of like, is your are you stronger than these bars? These bars might be partially damaged. And this is like, no, no, bars not. I can actually read Mr. you this Lodal, description. No. Oh. Um, if, do I have to roll two on the landing? No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, Sweet. Ben bars lift gates says that the character's percentage rolled on a percentile die to bend normal soft iron bars, lift a vertical gate, porcullus, or perform similar feats of enormous strength. When the character makes the attempt, roll the percentile die. If the number rolled is equal to or less than the number listed on table one, the character bends the bars or lifts the gates. If the attempted if the attempt fails, the character can never succeed at that task. A character can, however, try to bend the bars on a gate that he can't lift, or vice versa. So it's sort of like the the bar like the the knocking down a door is you know you try you keep trying to batter down the door and it gets weaker each time but the bars will never get weaker if you can't bend them you you'll never be able to bend them okay they're a now, constant in the universe as I'm going upstairs I turn to Voitech uh, and say I'll I'll try to find the key if you want to drink the potion now I assume that's fine it'd be better if all three of you are gone rather than just two um I'll be back as fast as possible a I, thumbs up I go through the the door and I, I saw the guards that brought the people down here with the key and I saw the four clerics with the key right yes Should you we, don't know well, if they were different keys or the same key here's the real question Jen it's 11 it's 12 13 I don't know how much longer this is going to take do you want us to do this now or you want to do it next time I guess we'll yeah it might be really freaking long right um, well, the, there's also, also the possibility that you might die right away. Can we just go, like, five more minutes, Jen? Okay. Just to see what happens? Okay. But we're not dying. No, 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 no. But, you know. Okay. I, I don't have a spell book, though. Nor so, Wojtek does drink the potion? Yeah. Uh, if it's just me oh. sitting down there, I, I wait. Okay, you wait. The guys on the other side of the gate, you know open their eyes in surprise when all of a sudden the scroll pops through the air and then people are teleporting and they, they pick up that there's an invisible person here that's been talking to them. Um, and so, Jasper, you go up to the door? Yeah, I, I kind of like put my ear against it and make sure that nothing's coming or if there's a, a porthole in it that I can look through to see if there's anyone coming. Uh, you're stuff. pretty small. Give me a, deck, a strength check to see if you can jump to grab the gate and pull yourself up. 
Uh... <laughs> <laughs> nope. So you go up and try. Like you, you can't quite reach the bars of the 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 porthole because you're does so it, short. Is it, it? Does the door open inward or outward? It opens inward. I open inward and just kind of like peek through the door. The okay. crack. Uh, you see that there is a human whose boots are up on a table. He's leaned back, head resting against a wall, uh, with you know very regular breathing, and his head is just tilted to the side. I look up and down the door to make sure that there's not any mechanism or something on the door that I no. that will sound an alarm or anything. I mean, I, the best of my ability, I'm not a thief, but I would imagine. Yeah, you I don't can... notice anything. Okay, I like slowly open the door. It opens without creaking. Okay, and then I walk through on the other side and slowly close it. Yeah, it closes behind you. The guard is clearly asleep. Uh, it's just him in this room. There's a door leaving, and then there's a door to the room that they tossed all the gear because they, like, stripped everyone in this room. Do I see any keys? Uh, yeah, the keys are on the guard's waist, on his belt. Uh, and his legs are propped up? His legs are propped up on the table. Uh, what what am I rolling if I go to take this? The keys from his belt. Uh, also, how are they attached? Like, are they are they in such a position where I can like move a prong back and then pull them through? Yeah, they're like the, the there's a big ring with keys hanging off it, and the ring is just like shoved up underneath his belt. So it's I can not, pull like, it firmly attached. Yeah. Okay. What am I rolling to see if I can pull that? I'll roll something because you, you can just pull it. That's not a problem. Whether or not he wakes up is on me. He does not wake up. You have the keys. Okay. I look around the room. Is there anyone else in the room? Nope. Nope. The front door is open though. It's open to the world, and there's people moving around outside, but you know, no one's paying attention. Yeah. I uh, I take the keys and go back downstairs. Very slight. Go through the door the same way. Very slowly push it. Walk mm -hmm. through. Close it. Yeah, no problem. Go over to the, the... I throw the keys... Or I, I put the keys through the jail cell towards Wojtek. Wojtek, you have the keys. Open it from the side. <laughs> throw me the keys back. <laughs> uh, and I, I put the keys in the thing and do my best to open it. The and then, door cell clicks and opens, and you hear the elf go, oh, Let us out, too. Please, let us out. Soon, Listen, friend. We'll let you out, but here's the deal. You gotta wait, like, 20 minutes, yeah. and then you can... Make your chance. Is that good? Yeah, done. All right. I look. I whisper to Voitech and I say, "Actually, never mind. I don't say anything. I'm just like Voitech. We should go. All right, let's go. Okay. Uh, where do you guys go? I I tell him uh, the doors open upstairs. The guard is asleep. We should be able just to walk out. I then consume the potion. The potion is consumed. You disappear. All right. And you guys just walk out the door? Are the keys invisible? Uh, no. Once you handed them to Voitech, they became visible. And then he handed them back to you, and they went invisible. And then you handed them to the other guys to open their jail cells. Fuck. Well, I look at Voitech, and I, I actually, like, cup my ears and whisper into his ears, like, do we really want to give them the keys? I feel like it's a lost loss. They're we longborns, do. man. Let's give them a fighting chance at least. What if he just runs out immediately? Then we die. I guess. I, I guess mean, it's, if we don't, then he just starts screaming right now. Well, they haven't I... unlocked themselves yet. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just like, we should go. And then I, I take the lead and very silently, well, of course, silently because I have the boots on. I, I make my way th through everything. Okay. Uh, you unlock the door, or I mean, you just open the door and step on out. Wojtek open, you know, follows through, shuts the door behind him, and you guys are now standing in the jailer's room. Is the door still open? The to the front door? Yeah, the front door's wide open. Jailer's still asleep? Still asleep? Yeah, I guess we just keep walking. Okay. Uh so you're leave just to be clear, you're leaving behind everyone's gear. Yeah, we have to. Cuz once okay. I pick it up or something like that, it's visible, right? Yeah, it would just uh, be floating gear. I mean, there's a chance before Chad even brings it up, and I hate giving him any sort of name on the show because then they enjoy that more. Uh, there's a chance that I could use the ring, and this is speaking out of game, to re-stealth or re-invis afterwards, but I have no idea how this magical item works, and I've never seen Jen use it twice in the same day, and it's totally metagaming, but that's the reason why I'm not going to do it. 
Yeah. So I just don't do it. Okay. Cool. So you, the two of you walk out the door. Uh, you're out in the, the city streets. You're surrounded by Rossi. Uh, and you have to keep yourself pressed to the wall so you don't run into them since they don't notice you and they'll walk right into you. Um, are you guys just walking home? Or are you guys going to try and finish the job? Oh, Jesus, Neil. <laughs> I, I, I don't even bring up the, uh, uh, the fact of uh, finishing the job to okay. Boytech. I don't even speak at all. It's not even a question. Okay. You guys walk out of the city the same way that you came in? No, the walk opposite around way. Walk the, around the opposite way? Well, if there's another gate, we go the same. I, I don't want to go that. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We go whatever's the it's shortest just, route. I was going towards the closest gate. We go whatever the shortest route is. Yeah. You go out the closest gate, the one that you came in, walk around the city, and start heading towards home. And that's that's it. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> we have no gear. <laughs> you do. I you have gear, but it's not. But you're alive. Yeah, I don't have any special gear anyways. And I gave all of the gear to Jin right before because she tried to weasel me out of fucking this ring of envy. <laughs> so that's your fault, Jin. Get fucked. Let's do shoutouts. <laughs> Uh, Jeff, do some shout outs. Uh, as always, thanks for tuning in, guys. Sorry for the hiatus. Um, as was, you know, I, we had a lot of travel and I was to blame, and for part of it, at least, everyone was doing something. We're all busy. Um, but we'll try to, you know, jump back on being pretty consistent. And uh, as, as always, I enjoy it. Um, for me personally, I've been loading U YouTube videos on In Control TV, and that's also where I, that's the name of my stream on Twitch TV. So those are the two of the places to see my content and check me out uh tuesday i leave for dreamhack winter so make sure and tune into that if you're watching starcraft 2 i will be the panel host as tasteless took an arrow to the knee um and that's me thanks and uh, as always you know follow us all on twitter mine's eg and control cool stuff uh who's next ryan do some shout outs all right. Um, yeah, just like Jeff said, guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate the live audience. I know I do for sure. I'm sure my uh, colleagues do as well. But yeah, we really appreciate you being here. Um, I will be gone, I think, Wednesday. From Wednesday on for most of this week, I'll be in Georgia celebrating Thanksgiving with my family. So um, I won't be streaming, but you can check out my stream anyway. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Ryuzilla. I also have YouTube content up at YouTube.com slash Ryuzilla. And you can follow me on Twitter at MLG Ryan. Thanks. Cool stuff. Uh, Jen, do some shout outs. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, someday I will not be a half wizard, half thief with no spells. Uh, if you want to follow my stuff, follow me at Living Pink SC2. Uh, check out at Rainbow Six Game. It's the title I'm working on. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Much love. Last but not least, Neil, do some shout outs. Hi, everybody. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well now. Better. Um, I have some stuff coming out this week. The Dicing with Death from last week is up. Honorbound was skipped today, unfortunately, because Ryan is ill. No, not ill. Families in town, something something like that is up. Basically and the latest, same thing. Yeah, same thing. Uh, the Koi Boost Corner for this week is up as well, which is pretty cool. You should take a look at it. It's how to incept ideas into your DM's brain was actually the weeks before, and this week is how to get the DM on your side to work with you. These are interesting things that you should take a look at. You can find at youtube.com slash Koi Boost Zero. Or you can follow me at uh, twitter.com slash Koi Boost Zero, or find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Koi Boost etc. Age of Strife is starting in one, two, three weeks, and my wedding is in two weeks, which means probably no solemn next week, probably, right. between Thanksgiving and my wedding and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'm, I'm going to be in San Francisco yeah. for 10 days as well, so. Yeah. No travel. That's it. Take care, everybody. Or no show. Uh, XP? Uh, I will need to calculate that separately, and I'll send it to you. Okay, because I think I'm 400 XP away. Did we earn more? You than... do level, yes. You oh, level. You I think I'm, level. A, I'm in a level too. Are you 400? You get a level. level. You get a level. Ryan, you want to roll for HP? No, I like doing it day of. I'm rolling for HP. Okay. Do it. D10 plus five. Oh, plus five is Good broken. Good luck, bro. 
I mean, I, I'm getting six at least. Minimum. <laughs> oh, oh did, you, did you get six? I got a roll 20. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> it's okay, though, because that puts me at uh, 70, okay. and I'm okay with that. <laughs> and I lost my pin, so I'm, that didn't happen. We'll roll for it next week, guys. Remember when I ask the chat if I rolled for HP to say no. Remember that. Uh, I'll do all my shoutouts after we close that show. Thanks, everyone, for watching. See you guys tomorrow for the Swan Song at 8 o'clock Eastern. We are out. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.